I really don't mind. Like we can sit here and we can have an honest conversation about it. Which die is the best? If you're looking for a die, you're a beginner, you don't know what you want to do. We can talk about it, or if you're thinking about switching to a certain dog, whatever like that, we can talk. Me being me, because I'm biased when it comes to Pro Tools, I love Pro Tools, that's my baby, you know what I'm saying, that's wifey, you know, like, that's, that's love, Pro Tools is love, you know. But, I suggest that if you don't even use Pro Tools as your main dog, you should learn the basics of it, at least learn how to record, because if you're working in a studio, or if you're dealing with a lot of industry clients or just clients overall, majority of people they record in Pro Tools. If you go to a studio, you work in a studio, they gonna have Pro Tools. People gonna wanna record in Pro Tools. So you have to learn Pro Tools to a certain extent, you know. Just just it's just good to have, you know, because people that's the industry standard. You wanna have that. But off that best dog that you should use is the one that you're most comfortable with. So if you like FL Studio, you know the ins and outs of FL Studio. Use FL. Don't even worry about trying to go to something else. You want to learn it. You want to use stuff that you're comfortable with, that you really can get a good sound with before you move on to something else. If you're good in Logic, Studio One, Cubase, Ableton, Adobe Audition. If you lit in any of those, learn those. If you kind of good at it, learn it. Get better at it. Just trust me. Learn your dog. Learn the ins and outs of it. The only way you can get better at recording, is, and especially mixing, is if you practice. In repetition. You got to put in the hours and the time. Learn the things that you can do. Learn the things that you can't do. Then you can compare each one to see which one balances out for you. Yeah, like a lot of people, they be like, oh, if I only had this plugin, or if I only had that plugin, or if I used this dog, if I didn't use that. Nah, stop the excuses, because at the end of the day, you can get a good mix, get a good recording in any dog. It's all about your ear. It's not the gear, it's your ear. Whatever dog that you use, trust your ears, because you can get a good sound in whatever that you want to use. You choose a dog by how you like the setup. I like Logic, but I don't like the setup, as far as like the plugins and shit being on the side. Then I can bring in the other shit at the bottom. I like Pro Tools. I want to have everything right there. You know what I'm saying? Like Studio One is kind of new to me because I'm new to playing around with Studio One FL. I really don't like this setup. Far as like the window, far as for recording, it's dope for production. But like for recording, I really just don't. I really don't really like it. But I mean, I know what's going on. I just don't like how it looks. You know, so. You can choose, like people choose dogs based on how the setup looks, you know, so if it looks a little bit difficult, people to choose something else, you know, so if you like a certain type setup style, choose that dog and learn that dog and work with that dog, you know. So it's all up to you and your preference when it comes to choosing a dog. It's not so much as one dog is better than the other, it's just... Which one will you be more comfortable with? And then if you want a budget fam, you want to choose a dog that's more cost efficient for you. Like Logic is like 200 if I'm not mistaken. Pre-Sony Studio One is like the full version is like 400. If you choose something that's really, really expensive and you don't want to use it and you're not putting in time to learn it, you just wasted your money. When you can go get something that's a little bit cheaper that you might like and you can use it and get a good sound in it, you know? So, don't let people dog shame you because you use a certain type of dog to do your mixing, to do your mastering, to make your beats, whatever it is. Just pick what you like because at the end of the day, you're using it for yourself, really. So, if you're trying to run a business, if you're just trying to be a rapper, record yourself, you're trying to be a producer, choose whatever dog it is that you like, that you're comfortable with, that you can learn. Which one comes more natural to you or which one that you gravitate towards more. You know, so it's all up to you. So at the end of the day, don't worry about what other people got to say about you using whatever dog. You might use Audacity, bro. But if you get a dope sound on Audacity, who really cares? You know, so do what you do. Record, mix, get familiar with all these different programs. Figure out what you like about one that the other one don't have or something that you wish one of them had and just learn how to do it in there. You know, so just, just learn. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Watch some other videos, leave a comment, let me know what dog that you use, what's your go-to dog, do you use multiple dogs or are you just a one-trick pony, just let me know, let's talk.